Welcome back to the course. I'm going to look at uh, one of the absolutely fatal mistakes that we all make at one point or another. Uh, normally, with a little luck, it's early in your career and it doesn't cost you too much, but that's trading ahead of the news. Some people used to do it on purpose because you would get these sudden explosions to one direction or the other. However, a lot of the algorithms out there now are reversion to the mean type of algorithms. So if the market leans too far in one direction, you'll get a lot of reversal trading. So trading the news really isn't no longer, it's really not a thing for retail traders. You don't have anywhere near enough speed in your system to compete with the multi-million dollar systems that are set up. However, that even went by the wayside with these high-speed systems because, quite frankly, a lot of people lost a lot of money. Trading ahead of the news is very dangerous because liquidity comes out of the market and the price can suddenly spike in one direction or the other. Or, as we've seen in the last couple of years, both directions at times. In front of you, I have one of the most important tools that you can get for free online, and that is an economic calendar. This happens to be Forex Factory, but there's Investing.com, Yahoo Finance, and a few others out there that are easily accessible to anybody. As you can see, there are a list of announcements for Tuesday, November 14th, when I happen to be recording this. And there are color-coded little uh, symbols next to the announcement, and red being the most important, orange and yellow, uh, descending like that. Investing.com has a star system, um, you know, and there are some other ones out there that use other systems, but they all basically will tell you how important something is. So if you were to get a signal to trade the British pound shortly before uh, the CPI numbers come out, which is a high-level event, you may wish to ignore that. Um, this is because you can get massive moves suddenly that move against you, and the next thing you know, you find yourself stopped out of a trade that may eventually go in your direction anyway. You can see that some of these other announcements, such as the NF. IB small business index in America was very low volatility, very low importance, something like that. You don't really worry about too much unless there's a specific event going on. We've all been there where some headline crosses the wire and it wipes our trade out. And these are random headlines. So there's no need to take on uh, extra risk when you simply can just Make sure that it's safe to trade, so to speak, or at least put a trade on without any of this. In front of you, I have the euro dollar, and this happens to be right after the non-farm payroll announcement for uh, November 3rd, which was the October numbers. Now, honestly, this is a pretty muted reaction, but you can still see that in a couple candles, we had spiked much higher. We had picked up about 50, 60 pips and then reverse that 90 pips. If you had a position ahead of time where you said, I'm going to buy a break of this shooting star, and this is what people used to do for news trading, you were very happy for a minute or two, and then it turned around. What this doesn't show you is that this is actually a minute or two that this happened, and then we sold off almost immediately. And you'll see that happen more and more. So by waiting for the longer term reaction, you can see that clearly the market wanted to sell off and then possibly put money to work at that point. But trying to jump in front of the news is a bad idea to say the least. And what makes it even worse is when you do it on accident. So make sure to trade according to what the calendar say. If there is a major announcement coming out in one of the markets that you're trading in the next five minutes, Clearly, you don't want to put money into the market because it can go against you rather rapidly. The type of disaster that would have been uh, part of going long of this pair could have been very easily avoided if you knew that this type of volatility was coming.